Welcome. Hi, this is Princess coming to you from the Deep Alive Bible Church Singles Channel. And I'm very delighted to have you here. Uh, we are also very happy to always see our old subscribers. If you are old or this is not your first time of joining this channel, we are very happy to see you. And for our new subscribers, new people coming to this page, you're very welcome here. <clears throat> this is the Deep Alive Bible Church Singles channel. We are a faith-based channel. We talk about Christian relationship, how to court efficiently, and prepare for a godly, healthy, and successful marriage. If that sounds interesting, please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and share with others if you have been blessed by the content that we're putting out here. Do well to join our group and our page on Facebook. We are there and we have a lot of um, mentors. We have pastors, we have youth leaders, we have married people and some of um, some experienced people who are helping young people answer their question. Every question that is bothering the young folks that are being thrown out there and answers are coming through. Trust me, you are missing out if you're not part of the group and the page. So do well to go and join the page and the group. It's called the Deep Alive Bible Church Singles. We're going to put the, uh, the, this, the, um, the page handle and the group um, uh, website. Everything will be in the uh, description of this video. Uh, don't forget that we're also on Instagram. Do well to follow us if you have not done so yet. And the name of our Instagram um, page is called D as in Donald, L as in Lima, B as in baby, C as in Charles, DLBC singles. So today we're talking about um, a topic that emanates from a question that was asked on the group. It says, what do you do if you find that someone is falling in love with you? what do you do? You find out that this person is in love with you or they start acting like they're in love with you. So what do you do? I'm going to provide a couple of things here. Number one, sometimes you assume, I'm starting from there to say that sometimes you even assume that a person is falling in love with you or is in love with you and in, you might be completely wrong. So appearances can be decept, deceptive. Like you might think that because of some of the actions, yes, you'd say yes, you notice it's obvious, yes. But as long as they have not said a word, do not make assumptions. That's my first place of, 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 of um, starting point, that's where I'll start with. That's where, I'll, that's where I'll advise you to start with. Do not make assumptions. Give everybody the benefit of the doubt. Assume that, okay, maybe it's just me that is thinking that, that they're in love with me. Watch them for a while. Now, what if you find out this person through their action, I mean, that they are really actually foreign, falling in love with you. If you notice that, first of all, number one, do not lead him or her on. Don't lead them on. If you are too close to them, if you think that you are too close to them and they say familiarity breeds content, like maybe you are too, too close to them and they begin to, because of the familiarity that you have developed with them, they start thinking that you are the ideal person for them. Give them some space. First, give them some space. Do not lead them on, okay? If you are the kind of person that calls them at night, late in the night, please do well to call them only at a time when you, you are allowed to call someone that's just an acquaintance. Because at night, it's a time when people that have um, a relationship, that's when they actually call each other. That's a time when people start feeling, you know, if they are lonely, they start feeling lonely. If they are 
sad, they start feeling sad. And when you call them, they listen to your voice as the last voice before they go to bed. And that can become a problem. They can start sounding funny on the phone, right? And you're tempted to also start getting tender when you're talking to people on the phone at night. So do well to not call them at night. Give, your time, time, give yourself a time frame when you cannot call them any longer and you cannot take their call any longer. And words like, I miss you. Oh, I just want you to see you now. And all those kind of words that will lead them on, try to stay away from those kind of words and create a kind of healthy distance between yourself and that person. And if there's anything that you're doing uh, for them that's so special in quote, that you do not do for other people that are also considered as your friends, maybe you should stop that for a while, okay? Stop that kind of um, favoritism for a while, just to give them the time to blow up the steam. And don't call them sweet names. If you usually would call them darling, sweetheart, um, love, sometimes people use that word just because, not that they mean that you're the love, but they just say love. Can you do this for me? Um, dear, can you do this for me? Um, darling, can you do this for me? Oh dear, I just, thank you dear. And sometimes it, some people take it as something else and maybe you just use it as a way of talking. You might need to stop uh, using those words when you talk to them, just to help them. You're here to help this person. They are in love with you. You are not in love with them. Keep that in mind. Okay, remember that you are trying to help this person so that they can start to see clearly. And you need to explain things to them. Like say something like, when somebody is nice to you, uh, that does not mean that they are in a relationship with you or that there is any form of marriage in view or that they are, they, they are thinking that they want to spend the rest of their lives with you. It's a time for you to educate them, okay? Sometimes you need to be, you know, a little bit politely put it off, like just be polite about it and explain some facts of life to them. Some, most times it's young folks, I mean, people who, um, it can happen to anybody, okay? When you're looking for something so bad, like maybe you have, you have been delayed and you're waiting for someone to say that they, they want to marry you and it's not coming and you like this, this person and you begin to feel something for them and you begin to act out how you feel. Sometimes knowingly or unknowingly, you are acting out, you know, how you feel inside of you, how your heart beats, you know, and sometimes you blush and sometimes, you know, you behave, you know, you behave like you wouldn't behave if you're not feeling something for them. And when you notice that, you, if you are the one falling in love, I'll advise you to do some of these things, give some space to this person. And but I'm talking about the person who is not in love with you, but noticing it and they're trying, you're trying to help this person. So in that case, you need to help them, you know, clear these love jitters, clear their hearts from the uh, butterfly feeling of uh, maybe I'm in love with him, maybe he's in love with me, maybe he needs to say it so that he can know I'm in love with him. Help them, help them by explaining what relationship you have. Let them know what you consider them, how you place them, what they are to you. And if you are in a relationship, it might be the right time to let them know that you are in a courtship or in a relationship that will lead into marriage. And so that they don't find out that you are in a relationship and feel wounded and feel hurt and feel let down or disappointed. Okay. So help them. Sometimes you would need to bring a mature lady, a mature sister in the church um, to follow them up, to help them. Like some of the things that you do that maybe requires um, the same sex, more matured person, you, you might have to introduce them to someone that you, you know will be able to help them. So that that person spends more time with them. They are the same sex. They spend more time with them. They are, and tell them that this is somebody that you trust and that you love very much and that can help them. Let them know that. L introduce them to a good mentor. 
if they're females. And if this is a male we're talking about, you, the lady, need to introduce him to another friend who is a male mentor, somebody that can help them, another buddy, a man that can help advise them. It could be someone who just got married or someone who has had that kind of experience of of falling in love with somebody and maybe you have a friend who has told you uh, their experience, you can introduce this person to uh, the one who is falling in love with you. And this person will definitely be of great help to them, okay? So if you notice that somebody is falling in love with you and you are not in love with them, you do not have any intention of taking the step further into like making the relationship um, a, a courtship and a journey towards a, a lifetime partnership, you know, I mean, a marriage partnership, then uh, let them know that you just have a genuine interest in them, uh, but uh, that there's nothing like anything emotional attached to it. Find a way to tell them, introduce them to books that they should read about what it means to be in a relationship, how to know uh, God's will in marriage, introduce them to um, good books that, 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 you can, that, you, that you have read before and they can read that will help them uh, to um, di di discover their purpose, discover um, themselves, and help them towards maturing in this area so that even if at the end of the day, they do not even um, see you anymore, they're able to have left that experience as a more mature person so that in the future, they'll be able to determine what is, uh, what is real and what is just uh, in my reach so that they're not just imagining uh, that, someone could fall in love with them because of the way they, they feel or because of the way the per, someone relates with them, uh, that a relationship, a nice young man, a, young, a nice guy or a nice lady uh, does not necessarily mean that that person is meant for you. The fact that somebody is nice to you, polite, um, helpful does not translate to love, okay? There's a clear definition between a desire to help and um, a feeling of love. And also don't forget that the will of God is also present. You can be in love with a person and maybe it's infatuation. Maybe it's not real deep love that will last into marriage. You know, as young people, we've all had those episodes of having infatuations and falling in love as a teenager, liking somebody, having a crush and having, you know, some, you know, sometimes you have this thought that maybe I'll marry this fine young man in, in my teenage <laughs> church, but many years you discover that life takes you different directions and your path does not meet and you don't eventually marry. Sometimes people marry, yes, but not all the time. Okay, that being said, I will put an end to this video today. Thank you for hanging out here. If you have stayed up to this time, don't forget to subscribe. And if you're blessed by this video, like, share, and come next time for more videos. Uh, this is Princess again, and I wish you a great night, a good day, a good morning. And I pray that the Lord will give everyone an answer of peace. I'm praying for you, and I know. That as long as you hold on to God, you will not miss it in marriage. God bless you. Until next time. Goodbye.